It is a miracle to be here today. Welcome back. This is Kingdom Corn. Yeah. Kingdom time. What is up? <laughs> it is a great and lovely day, and I'm glad that you guys are here for another awesome review. Because over here, I got this Tomcat Dark Zone Max. I have been waiting for this blaster forever and ever and ever. <laughs> forever, ever? Forever, ever? Forever, ever. And no reason to wait any longer because I got it right here. And you guys are also invited to join me. You can do that by subscribing to my channel. And then, only then, will I unbox this thing and take it to the All right, all right. I'm going to do it anyway. I'll do it now, anyway. What do we have here? First Whoa, of all, a whole box full of accessories. Just accessories mm. everywhere. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This right here appears to be a sight, front and back. I am anxious to get this on there and look through it for the first time. And hopefully it is actually functional. Now over here, this is a really thick stock. Let's see, how do you operate this thing? I guess maybe you have to have the blaster first. Or maybe I could be a dummy. Nice. Oh, that's nice and sturdy. I guess this is the barrel. Maybe you attach it with this right here. We will see if this is just for looks. Most likely it is. But either way, hey, it's all good with me. My, oh my. This is a drum. I believe it holds 50 darts. And not just any 50 darts. Can you guys notice the length here is just a bit short? Yeah, this holds 50 short darts. What? That is definitely a first. And I can't wait to try this out because the Dark Zone Tomahawk is one of my favorite blasters. And to see how it works with short darts, ah uh, yeah, this should be interesting. Ooh, that's got some weight to it. <laughs> and it is super sweet. Ah uh, yeah, I am going to love this blaster. Ooh, that's a hard prime. And y'all know I got a broken arm. So y'all gonna have to excuse me. This might be a tough review here. Oh, snap. That should be okay. Dang. <laughs> they have a mega long rail, tactical rail, all the way across the top. Plenty of room to put as much stuff on there as you want to. This ergonomic design is just great. This blaster is looking out to be as good as I thought. Okay, we just started, don't geek out. Over here they have got a safety switch. That means this should hit pretty hard. The plastic quality is all there. Check out the Tomcat words. I mean, it is not just a printed sticker, but the words Tomcat, it's layered. Yeah. It pops out. <laughs> Powered by PTDZ. Primetime Dark Let's Zone. Up. Oh, that fit on that so smooth. Fit on like butter, like, like some grease is on this thing. I mean, it was $70, but you know, sometimes, as with Hasbro, $70, I mean, you never know what it's gonna get you. But in this case, $70, it really got me what I feel like I needed. Yes, yes. <laughs> Love it when the stock actually works and fits. That's amazing. Don't I look good with this, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, to use this stock, there is this button right here. I guess you press it in, and then that way you can move it and adjust it according to your length or whatever. And this cheek rest is also movable. That is a total first. Good job, Dark They knew that this bastard was gonna be the best, so they had to make sure it was comfortable for everyone. Wow, it even comes back. <laughs> this is lit. As for the grip, I mean, it is not like pro level grip, 
because it's not rubber. It's definitely plastic, but it is not like very cheap plastic like you know, some other blasters that we have seen. Nothing here, I believe, is just basic. I mean, check out these textures, all the details. It is not like a two-dimensional thing. Although it is like flat, but it has many different features that make it just pop out. Whenever you look down the scope, which is on here yet, <laughs> you can see all the smoothness, and you are definitely not disappointed. Mm. <laughs> And speaking of which, I suppose this goes on the front. I'm sure y'all will correct me if I'm wrong. And this, hmm, let's take a test look. Oh, yeah. I'll just geek out for this one. I don't normally actually look through the site on Nerf guns, but I got a good feeling about this one. Very good feeling. And, hold up first, um, we have this barrel. Yeah, just like I thought, this goes in here. Which way though? What's up guys? Now you might be wondering, what am I doing over here? And why did the video just stop? <laughs> well, because the video kind of stopped. And during that time, I put the drum on. I really, really apologize. The drum is on, the barrel is on. But on that note, while we are here, Wow, you guys, if you like this channel, if you like this video, if you want to see the video go on, then I'll appreciate it very much. If you guys would, go ahead and hit the like button. And also, if you guys would, subscribe so that every single time I come on here, you guys are sure to be there with me. Now, if that is cool with y'all, let's go ahead and finish this cool review. <laughs> My camera said that it got too hot. So that kind of makes sense, seeing how fired up I got off this blast. The overview of what was off camera, basically in order to put on this drum, you are going to pull out the little tabs and then pull this back and that will release the little, um, that will release the little inner tube thingy. <laughs> and then all you do is slide this in, it fit on really good. It wasn't any type of a struggle. Now, as you guys can imagine, it is not going to be a walk in the park to get all these darts in here. That is if you want to get it in there very quickly. First, you can slide them in through the back and then you go one by one. And after that, you turn around and then you put them in through the side. Well, I did just to minimize any type of damage. Speaking of damage, and it won't come out. But uh, <laughs> what I would do, I slide the back end first up inside of here and then push the front and just seal it in. <laughs> I guess there's really just no way around this thing taking some time to load, but the payoff definitely will be worth it to have 50 darts, not just any darts, but 50 short darts at that. This is gonna cause some damage to whoever runs up on you. <laughs> and we are about to see that right now. <laughs> Oh, snap. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, I, I do have to apologize. Um, I do have like an arm that's still healing, and this is a very hard prime, so I'm not gonna be able to really let off like shots as hard as I want to. So this might be kind of a slow firing demo. <laughs> the slowest firing demo you're gonna see with this blast. That's serious. Why am I so close? Beautiful blaster, y'all. Yeah. Woo. So nice. Do y'all see that?
right quick. I heard that this thing also has slam fire. Now I'm not quite sure how much that would help me because obviously I'm having primary issues with my broken arm. I'm semi broken arm. But um, I'm just gonna try to see what I can do here. Ah oh, man, I got a jam. I'm just gonna attribute that to my handicap right now. The question is, how do you remove jams from this blaster? Hmm. Perhaps I'll remove this. Nah. I guess we'll take a brief intermission. I'll be right back. That ought to do it. My flow just might be off, cause I don't know where I am in this. Oh, it was backwards. Well, don't say nothing. <laughs> Round two, slam fire. Oh man, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna chalk that up to my handicap. Um, if I could get a better handle on the blaster, I might be able to handle the slam fire a bit better. Do y'all remember the nerf rival with Haiti? That is kind of similar to this. And that also has slam fire. And I can tell you, that feels a lot better than this. But once again, that's coming from a perspective of someone that's kind of handicapped and can't get a great grip onto this thing. <laughs> now, seeing just how hard this thing shoots, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that little chrono barrel and give this a really quick FPS test. What do y'all think? <laughs> this should be interesting. Tomcat chronograph test. Here it goes. Whoa. Eighty-four. Three hundred and seventy-three. Say what? I know that can't be right. Three hundred and forty-two. Okay, I know my settings are not right in this doggone Nerf Chrono Barrel. Three hundred and four. Good gosh. All right, clearly my settings are not right. And I really don't know how to program this thing. Let me see. Same thing. 341.7. 255. Hey, that's the Nerf Chrono Barrel. I don't know what it got going on. <laughs> Hopefully soon, I'll get me a better brand chronograph. That way we could get a more precise reading. As for now, clearly, this blaster is a beast. Woo. <laughs> Good. Googly moogly. This right here. <laughs> wow, that was great. <laughs> um, I hope you guys were able to feel that fire. I'm sweating. <laughs> I kind of have to apologize because I'm not necessarily going to be able to give a very good conclusion for many reasons. For one, my chronograph sucks. And for two, I wasn't able to really experience it because of my handicap here, had to get surgery, being goofy on the skateboard. And for those that wonder why I haven't done many skateboard videos lately, yeah, that's kind of why. But what I think for now, I did have those jams. Again, that could easily be an error because of me not being able to prime it right. But in the case of jams, I was able to fix them quite easily. <laughs> That is not to say that you could get some really bad jams in there, but for me, all it took was to remove the drum and then the jam came right out every single time. So that wasn't a big thing. Yeah, but I really wish that I wasn't handicapped so that way I could shoot it in a good way and be sure whether it is me or the blaster. Yeah, but even with that, this blaster is just so solid all around. I mean, I can give it a pass for it having some jam issues. I mean, think about it. That thing shoots like, what, 300 FPS? <laughs> Not likely, but that thing shoots pretty dang hard. And for $70, I have paid 70 bucks for like a Hasbro blaster that goes like 65 or some junk like that. Oh, you yeah. know it's true Hasbro. Don't even shot the front. <laughs> so yeah, with that said, I'm going to kind of cut this conclusion short because of my limited actual references to it. I'm just going to say that I love the blaster. And I guess if you want to get like a starter blaster of that type, you can also grab the Dark Zone Villainator. It's like also a Tommy gun. And then there's a the Dark Zone Tomahawk. They've got that big drum. It is also semi-auto. And as far as my favorite blasters go, 
that definitely is one of my go-tos. So yeah, 50 rounds, short darts, fits comfortably. I mean, got a great stock, got a great sight, just beautiful all around. This is one solid blaster in every category. If it jams up, that is okay. I mean, we can take a few jams, and if they do, they are not hard to remove. Yeah, so on that note, guys, I must say I am feeling this blaster right here. I definitely feel like I got my money's worth. I am not upset. Ooh, that thing feels so good. Man. <laughs> so except for this grip that I have gripes with, Kingdom Porn is very happy. Look at that trigger. I just have to show you guys this one more time before we get out of here. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is a great blast. So we can clearly see that anything is possible if you believe. Somebody can. definitely believe in this Dark Zone Match Tomcat. That's what's up. And you guys continue to believe in Kingdom Corn. Until next time, you guys be safe, stay lovely, and blessed. <laughs> we are out of here. <laughs> Peace. Yeah. <laughs>